Hi, I'm Brian Cogdell with Celestron, and in this video, we're going to show you the basic setup for the innovative StarSense AutoLine accessory. StarSense uses a camera that piggybacks onto your telescope. It was designed to automate the sometimes time-consuming and tedious process of aligning your telescope with the night sky. Now you can be automatically aligned in three minutes or less. But first, there's a simple one-time calibration step to make your StarSense work with your Celestron telescope. First, let's go over installing StarSense. Remove the finder scope, bracket, and bracket base from your telescope. StarSense comes pre-assembled with a large bracket and bracket base. Install the large bracket base onto your telescope, then slide the StarSense camera on the base and tighten the thumb screws. If your telescope requires the use of the smaller bracket, follow the instructions in your user manual to swap it out. Plug one end of the included auxiliary cable into the back of the StarSense camera and the other end into your mount's auxiliary port. Begin by setting your telescope up with a low power eyepiece. EQ mounts should be set to the index marks and roughly polar aligned. Altaz mounts should start with the tube level to the ground. Some of our telescopes use internal Wi-Fi like the Nexstar Evolution or AstroPhi models. Other computerized Celestron telescopes are made Wi-Fi compatible by simply plugging in the Sky Portal Wi-Fi module to an available auxiliary port on your mount. Turn on your telescope. Go to your device's settings and look for the Wi-Fi signal that your telescope is now broadcasting and connect to it. The network name will start with SkyQ Link or Celestron. Open Celestron's free Sky Portal app and within a few seconds it will be ready to control your telescope. Locate the scope icon and tap it. Tap Connect and Align. Sky Portal automatically detects a telescope with StarSense Auto Align. Tap OK to begin auto alignment. StarSense will begin slewing to sections of the sky, automatically acquiring images and aligning itself. Once StarSense has begun its alignment process, it is important not to touch or move the telescope in any way. Also, while imaging the sky, do not obstruct, cover, or shine light into the camera lens. Once alignment is complete, tap Done. Now tap OK to center calibrate the StarSense camera to the optics of the telescope. The blue crosshairs show the portion of the sky your telescope is pointing to. Select a bright star. The white crosshairs show the object you have selected. Tap the Go To button. The scope will now move to your selected object. You may not see the object in your eyepiece or it may not be centered in the eyepiece, but don't worry, this is why we are calibrating the star sense to your telescope. The stars will be very close, so you should only have to move the telescope a short distance to see it. Adjust the rate slider to slow down the telescope's slew rate and then use the directional arrow buttons to locate and center the star. Tap Align, then tap Calibrate. The star's new position on the camera will be displayed as a set of coordinates. And this is automatically saved in the sky portal for future alignments. Once the camera is calibrated, tap OK to start a new StarSense auto alignment. Tap OK again. You only need to do this the first time you are using StarSense with a telescope in sky portal. Once StarSense is aligned and the camera is calibrated, tap Done. You are ready to observe. Choose from thousands of objects in Sky Portal by tapping the object on the screen or searching for it in the search menu. You can also browse the list of tonight's best objects to get started. Be sure to explore your Sky Portal settings menu for advanced features and customizable StarSense options. To access these features, simply tap Settings, then tap Setup and Control. For best results, keep the StarSense camera installed on the telescope. And the next time you turn on your telescope, you'll be automatically aligned in three minutes or less. I'm Brian Cogdell, wishing you clear skies and have a nice night.